So I've been using, I've been using, I've been using, using, using. Let's get some more using in there. Woo! The sun is out. Hump in there. For, oh, blah, 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 blah. Right then, well, welcome to another video. I'm back out on the bank and it gives me great pleasure in letting you know I'm back at the Syndicate for the next 24 hours. Yes, Phil's Lake in Amberdon, one of the embryo waters that both me and Sean have got a Syndicate ticket on. And uh, yeah, like I say, here for 24 hours, I've picked my swims so while I barrow all that kit around to the swim and start getting set up. Why don't you smash that subscribe button, give it a like already, and let's try and bring you an absolutely wicked video. So yeah, let's get on with it. Well, the rods are out, so happy days. The first cat, sorry, the first rod took a couple of casts, but actually the other two went out absolute sweet as a nut after that. So uh, yeah, pretty happy with that. All three on quite a small spot, so in a slight crosswind. Pat on the back, I'll take that, I won't lie. Uh, I'm gonna introduce a little bit of bait, not gonna go crazy, mainly for the reason that one of the bailiffs has come around and actually told me that this morning they put in um, sort of best part of a five kilo sack of the house pellet, not far or if on sort of the edge of the spot. So not gonna go too crazy because I expect a lot of that is still out there, but I wanna introduce something and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go with kind of a boilioni approach uh, and take my sort of pellet out of there as what I'd normally put in. So I've got some of the bug DNA here and I've got it in 8, 12 and 15 mil. And what I did is I put a load into a bucket with a load of sort of water and a load of the liquid food in there. So they've been soaking, drawing in all that attraction while also softening up. And uh, yeah, just a little tactic I'm gonna try this year, see if we can pick off some of the bigger fish. So yeah, like I say, three different sizes. And when, what, I've, what I've done when I've got to the lake is I've just spooned some into another bucket and I've added in a load of the Spod Hydro Syrup which is obviously a nice thick liquid and which will draw all the attraction down to the lake bed where my hook and my rigs are. So uh, yeah, that's the tactics we're gonna do. We're gonna stick out probably five or six pods, like I say, just to introduce a bit of fresh scent and also just a bit of extra additional bait of what the uh, bailiffs have kindly already given me. So happy days, let's uh, get some spots out there and then we can sit back. I'm already into beer number one because I'm absolutely sweating. It's uh, 20 odd degrees today. Some reason I wore trousers. That was a silly mistake. So finish this beer off and then we'll get some bait out. Well then, well, bit of an evening update. Might not show it on the camera very well, but we are starting to lose the light, so I thought I'd do it now before, uh, yeah, it's too dark to see anything. But uh, yeah, rods are out, bait is out, won't lie, spotting could have gone a bit better. Uh, definitely not my finest day with a spod rod, but we got some bait out there, and as I explained earlier on, obviously the bailiffs put a load of pellet out there towards the spot earlier on, so uh, to be fair, at least they've done uh, some accurate baiting up for me. Just about to tuck into one of these epic sober pot noodles basically a posh slightly healthier pot noodle but yeah absolutely epic so if you haven't tried them before definitely a top tip 
And uh, yeah, I guess fingers crossed for the night, see if we can uh, have a fish on the bank. I've seen a couple of sort of in the area, not over the spot, but in the area. So um, all that commotion definitely hasn't scared them all off. But uh, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see if we uh, manage to bank one or not. So hooking one's the first challenge and then uh, getting it in is the second because it is a very weedy water at the moment. So uh, yeah, fingers crossed. So I'm going to tuck into this, enjoy the evening and uh, yeah, hopefully I'll speak to you shortly with a, a big fat carp. If not, probably be a morning coffee update. Right then, well, good morning. Unfortunately, it is a coffee update rather than a fish capture. I put four more spawns out last night and a bit of a tip for yourselves if you don't do it already, but the spawning wasn't going right when I first got in, sort of late yesterday afternoon, early evening. And what I should have done is just put the spawn rod down. The wind died off a couple of hours later and I should have just then put the bait out. But yeah, I was kind of, I don't know, just in the mindset of getting the red sorted because I was absolutely knackered. And yeah, hindsight probably should have waited so there you go little bit of a tip if you don't do that already put it down and then uh, have a break and come back to it but i was actually quite confident going in tonight i did put four more spawns out which went bang over the money once that wind had died off and uh yeah unfortunately it just hasn't happened i'm still confident there's still sort of bite time still seen fish in the area not not close enough to the spot that i would really like but yeah still in the area so Still uh, well within bite time this morning, and to be fair, bites can come at any time on here, so uh, yeah, not write myself off yet. I didn't really talk about why I dropped into the swim that I'm in, which is called the Snake Pick. I'm doing a lap of the lake, speaking to, there's three other people on um, when I got here yesterday. They're all kind of dotted around the lake, as you would expect, and so this sort of top end was the only area I wouldn't really feel like I was affecting other people's fishing. And uh, yeah, it was the only place I've seen the fish show as well, so. I was confident dropping into it. I've done well in there in the past. The spot I used to fish in there is still kind of there. It's a lot smaller than it was, but it's still there. And uh, yeah, so I was pretty confident. But like I say, so far nothing. But we're going to slurp down a couple of brews, I expect. Watch the water and fingers crossed some, at some point today, something can happen. morning up there I was starting to feel pretty confident as I seen fish left and right of me and uh, yeah drifting towards the spot but unfortunately shortly afterwards I've had the call from home that the little one's been thrown up all night the wife's had no sleep so yeah daddy duties are needed so the barrel is already pretty much loaded up the rods are just to be reeled in and packed away so unfortunately this session's being cut a bit short so unfortunately no fish another blank cup fills but uh yeah 
we've got some big plans coming out later in the year to try and hit it hard and get some of these bigger residents and we've also got the blogger social match coming up at Coken Farm in a couple of weeks time so uh, yeah make sure you like and subscribe and then we'll see how we get on up there and as always we really appreciate your support follow us on the social media down at the bottom of the screen and until next time get out on the bank be lucky and most of all enjoy your fishing Thank you.